Guys, let's have a talk. We have a huge problem. Look at the graph. Less than 5% of you are subscribed to my channel. It doesn't take much to make me happy. How about one in five of you subscribe right now? Wife cheated after 13 years together. Hi everyone, a little background. My wife 28 female and I 28 male have been together for 13 years. We started dating when we were roughly 16, never broke up and got married three years ago. We had the kind of relationship that others were jealous of and everyone always expected us to get married when we were younger. Over the past year and a half to two years things started changing between us. Some issues came up with her family and she started to become more and more distant, both emotionally and physically, starting being super protective of her phone, and grew closer and closer with a male coworker. Long story short I snooped yes, I know this is bad on her phone because I had a feeling something was going on based off a variety of factors and found incriminating texts confirming that she was having an affair with this guy. When I confronted her early September she owned up to it saying that it had been going on for a year. They had been having the affair in our home, sleeping together in the bedroom that would eventually be the room where our future children slept. She apologized, saying it would never happen again and I told her that in order for us to move on I need her to have no contact with the person she cheated on me with. Two months later and they are still talking occasionally, with her saying it is unfair of me to ask her to not talk to someone she considers a close friend. I honestly don't know what to do at this point. I'm trying to see if I can move on, but I feel like I can never trust her again. I feel like her choosing to be in touch with him still shows that she is choosing their relationship over ours. I am just totally torn on what my gut is telling me. She also told me not to tell any of our friends what is going on, so I don't even have someone to talk to. Sorry, this was a bit of a rant but it's the first time I have written it all out, and I really do not know how to proceed or how to cope with this. And it was not expecting this large of a reaction. Outside a few of you that seem to think nasty replies are appropriate when someone has their entire life crumble around them, this was helpful. I know what I need to do, I just need to rip off the band aid and do it. I am going to call the lawyer I spoke to a few weeks ago tomorrow and see how he says I should approach the situation. Update, I figured it was time to update since all of your advice was so helpful. After posting here a little over a month ago and reading all of your advice I called my lawyer, told my parents and some close friends what was going on, and told my wife that I wanted a divorce. She begged and pleaded, promising to make things better and cut off contact with the AP. We spent all weekend together with her promising things and saying and doing all the right things. I did not fully believe her, but I was willing to give her her one more chance to try and save what I thought we had. Things were fine, we were more or less just coexisting for about a month but she was on her phone a lot less and being more attentive to me. Well, two weekends ago she handed me her phone to show me something and I suspiciously swiped up on her open apps and there she was, talking to her AP on Instagram. I flipped out and she promised he just messaged her and she told him that she could not talk. This was blatantly false as I read their conversation and they were discussing what they were each doing that night. I was again duped lied to and deceived. She told me should would finally block him but wanted to say goodbye since he was a friend. I said it was inexcusable and that she had to cut off contact and block him right then, which she said she would. Two days later I asked if she had blocked him and she had not yet. End of the long story I told her right on the spot that we are getting a divorce and we can either go through mediation if she agrees to every single thing that I want, or I can get my lawyer involved and I will get what I want anyway. She agreed to mediation and we are beginning that process shortly. It took me some time to get there, longer than it probably should have, but I finally have enough respect for myself to put an end to this and go find the life of happiness that I deserve. She still tries to make me feel bad about all of this, blaming me to a degree and telling me how awful of a situation I am putting her in, but I remind her that it was her actions that caused this, not mine, and that she has to live with the consequences of her actions. I have also begun telling more friends about what happened along with the rest of my family. This is not how I ever saw my life going, but I know that this is a blessing in disguise and I will end up with someone who truly makes me happy. Update 2. 
So, after telling my ex-29 female that we were getting a divorce, the gaslighting went into overdrive. Blaming me, telling me that it is my fault that I am doing this to us, that I am giving up on our marriage, that it is really sad that I am letting our relationship end this way, and that I am going to take away the home that our dog knows, etc., etc. I stood strong, didn't let her get to me, and went through with divorce mediation. Mediation was smooth, she agreed to everything that I wanted, and I received notice from the courts yesterday that I am a free man. We sold the house within three months of starting mediation, she moved out one month prior to closing on the house. The gaslighting continued while living together waiting for the house to sell, with her continuing to blame me and telling me that I am mean because I refuse to speak to her at all, and countless other things that only a truly sick individual would think to be true given the situation. Once the house sold, I moved back to my parents for a few months to collect myself and just figure out what to do with my life. I started weekly therapy and was able to reflect on the relationship, seeing how toxic and one-sided everything was. How I was the one always putting myself second and sacrificing my happiness to try to tolerate her and her unrealistic needs and expectations. My therapist suggests that it sounds like she has borderline personality disorder, which is a condition that runs in her family and it makes total sense. I was also able to, and continue to, work on underlying issues that allowed me to get into such a toxic relationship, and at this point I feel like I will be able to identify the warning signs. I recommitted to my physical health as well, losing 15 pounds over the last 3 months and getting back into running, currently training for a 10k. Early this month I moved into my own place in New York City, I am reconnecting with friends who I lost touch with, and I have started dating for the first time in my life albeit pretty unsuccessfully at this point. Plus, I got a promotion at work a few weeks ago that I worked my tail off for. I am mentally, physically, emotionally, and financially in a better place than I have been in years, and her showing me her true colors by having this affair was the greatest favor she could have done for me. I still have not told all of our mutual friends about the affair, as I was afraid she would get angry and tank mediation, but now that the divorce is final I will be notifying everyone in our lives as to who she is and what she did. I guess all this was all just a long-winded way of saying that things will get better. There is nothing wrong with any of us because we were cheated on, and to try to use this as a launching point for you making yourself better and working to make yourself the best possible person. This is going to be my last significant post here most likely as well I don't think my journey of healing has come to an end, it's just come to a new chapter and dwelling on what this woman did to me is not worth it. Thank you again for all the support, both in terms of kind words as well as the harsh truths that I had to read.